Hi, my name is Carlos Robles and I'm a principal product manager on the SQL Developer Experiences team. In this video, I will show you how the GitHub Copilot integration with the UMS SQL extension for VS Code can help you build application faster using agent mode. And this is with full awareness of your database context and schema. And for this demo, I'll be building a Pokedex wiki, a small app that will be storing information about my Pokemon, their types, their moves, and the trainers. I'll create a backend that includes a SQL Server database running in a container, and of course, a REST API. I'm using Prisma as my ORM, and I'll rely on GitHub Copilot and the MS SQL extension to guide me through the entire workload of this application. All of this using natural language prompts instead of boilerplate code. Right, so here I am in VS Code, and as you can see, I already have a latest version of the MS SQL extension for VS Code, and of course, I have a GitHub Copilot installed and configured. So for now, we're going to navigate back to the extension here, and I already have a local container running. So as you can see, I have a few databases already created here. So to start a new session using agent mode, I can just simply do a right click over the server and then select the option that says open copilot in agent mode. With that, GitHub copilot is going to connect to my database using my profiles. As you can see right now, it's listing the different connections. It's trying to understand what, um, what do I have? But for me, I selected this instance. So uh, right away, it's going to connect to my GitHub copilot profile name and it is connected now. As you can see, it says successfully connected to this database running in this port for this local host. So I can start interacting here, but as I mentioned at the beginning, my goal is to create um, a backend for this Pokedex application I'm working on. So I want GitHub Copilot to assist me, but more importantly, I want GitHub Copilot in agent mode interact with me using our integration. So right now I'm asking Copilot to assist me creating a new database called PokeWiki. So let's wait for that and that's it. Simple as that, it just created a database for me. And right now, as you can see, it's listing the databases. So it's going to verify that the database was successfully created. And right now it says, yes, perfect. The database was successfully created. You want me to do something specifically. So this is how we can start interacting further. So for now, I guess I want to just double check and make sure it can list my databases. So we will compare this against the list I have in Object Explorer. So that way you can, you can see that you can be very productive without like using OE if you don't feel like it or opening the extension, you can use just agent mode to interact with your um, databases. And indeed, if we refresh here, we would see that we have our PokeWiki database and it's listed here on the right hand side as well. All right, so because I created a database and I connected using the server name, it just used the default connection. So right now I'm probably connected to a master database. But if I want to start interacting with the database I want to build, I need to switch. So right now you can see that I'm asking, hey, Copilot, switch to my PokeWiki database because I want to start like creating tables and performing some other operations for my app. So right now, GitHub Copilot is probably anticipating what's going to happen next because I have my database created. Uh, so it looks like I'm ready, right? So I'm ready. Uh, for this demo, as I mentioned at the beginning, I'm going to be using uh, Node.js in combination with Prisma. So I want Prisma to help me scaffold my database structures and everything. So I'm going to drop these instructions for GitHub Copilot. And basically I'm saying, yeah, initialize a project, help me setting up Prisma and use SQL Server as my provider, right? So because this is a SQL Server backend database, I want to make sure Prisma can connect and run those migrations against my database. So we're going to initiate the process. Uh, right now it's just going to initiate uh, NPM. So it's going to create the scaffold for my application. And right now it's installing Prisma. So you can see the agent mode is guiding me. I'm not like typing all the different things or copying and pasting. And in fact, this is super powerful because now it has the context of my database. So I can do even more. All right, so right now is configuring the environment variables because I definitely want to use a connection string. And this is exactly what I was talking about before. So as you can see, it's proposing right here, a URL for my database and it has the 
correct server name. It has the correct database. The username and password is not correct, but that's for security purposes, but I can modify that off camera. But this is great because it has the context. Once again, I can just simply accept here. And right now I think it's doing more things I'm asking for. So I'm going to cancel right now because yeah, it's starting to create the, the schema and whatnot. So I just wanted to stop right here. All right, so just in case we want to uh, retrieve the connection string, we can ask GitHub Compiler assist us with that information. So you notice it that I have the connection string already here, but yeah, <laughs> right there, I got the examples, I got all the information I can use to uh, create this environment variable for my application to be able to connect to my database. All right, so I'm going to modify the connection string of camera all set. So now I'm going to continue my journey here to create my tables using GitHub Pilot in agent mode, but again, interacting with my database and using Prisma as my ORAM. So as you can see my still instructions about how I want to create my database. So yeah, I'm going to create a few tables. I'm going to create a table called Pokemon, another that's called Move Trainer. But as you can see, I'm asking also uh, Copilot to assist me creating those relationships because I definitely want to build license fits for my application to be performant so I can retrieve data easily as well. Uh, so right now it's working on it. So what I will expect is GitHub Copilot to recreate that schema.prisma file that try creating at the beginning. Remember it was very helpful and it was starting doing that without like me providing the instructions. And it looks like, yeah, it is, this is good. Uh, of course, this is um, a proprietary schema syntax from from Prisma, but once I run this migration, this migration will be translated to a table in my database. So this looks good. This is exactly what I was looking for. So I'm going to keep it. And right now, and <laughs> you can see GitHub Poly is telling me, okay, this is what uh, you need to do next. Uh, I'm not going to go with those because I really want GitHub to pilot to be a driver here. And I'm like accepting or probably rejecting what, it, it, what he's proposing. Uh, so right now I'm saying, yeah, apply this schema and create all my tables on my database using a migration. So this is it. This is the step where I expect um, Copilot to go here and run the migrations. Okay, so as you can see, there was an error here. Um, the error was that it was not able to authenticate to the server. So let's see how GitHub Copilot is helpful here. Troubleshooting that issue for me. So it understands my database, has all the context of my connection. So right now is, as you can see, it's deleting something, adding something. So I'm going to take a look at these. So I just verified that off camera. So let's try again. Let's run our Prisma migration. All right, so it worked as expected. So now that we have our schema on our database, it's time to verify it. So let's use the agent again. Let's ask for help here, like list all my tables. I want to make sure that that migration was successfully pushed into my database and the structures are what I was um, asking Copilot to do. And yeah, as I, we can see right here, it says like my application tables are Pokemon, Move, Trainers, Pokemon, Moves, and Trainer, Pokemon. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. I want to build a Pokedex. So that makes all sense to me. Uh, so we can verify these even further. We can ask Copilot to assist us like listing the different columns for the Pokemon table, for example. So this is how you can expand. You can explore your schema just by using natural language. You don't have to connect to a database. Of course, I can just simply click in here, go here to OEN. This is very convenient as well. But in case you want to really uh, increase your productivity, this is something you can do. And as you can see, I get all the details. What is the data type, the max length, the notable yes or no. Let's like expand this to make it better. So yeah, I got all the information I'm looking for. This is fantastic. All right, but this is not done yet. We need some sample data to work with, right? So let's close everything from here. Let's make some room because I need some room for what is coming next. So I want GitHub Copilot in agent mode to insert sample data into my database. I want to add Pokemon entries. I want to add some moves assign some um, moves to a Pokemon uh, and have a trainer for each Pokemon. And I can see right here that um, this is the query that is going to be executed against my database. 
And uh, if I scroll down to see all the different uh, details, this is looking good. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue here. So we will get some of our tables populated and let's move on to relationships. This is really good. Pikachu bulbs into a Raichu. Yeah. Uh, so now it's creating some trainers. I would expect to see Brock and Misty, Ash for those Pokemon fans over there. You will like, identify those names. All right. So now what is happening here, you can see that it's going to verify the data. So GitHub Copilot is be very kind and I haven't asked for that, but that, that makes sense to me. Like whenever we do something, we want to verify and make sure uh, the data is accurate and what we have is, is, is helpful for our application. Right now it's counting the number of Pokemon. So it's finished. Right now all the sample data was successfully inserted. And this is like a summary what um, Copilot did. And this is looking really good. I got Pokemons, I got moves, I got some trainer, and even the relationships were established. Uh, so what happens if I ask a question, for example, like list the top three Pokemons with the, I don't know, most powerful moves or something like that. So let's try that. So what I will expect here is Copilot to create a query and uh, run or execute that query against my database. And let's see what is happening here. Yes, I can see the joins and everything. So I'm expecting to see the data here in line. And this is it, I got it. So first place is Venusaur. Wow, that's very, very uh, surprising. But I guess this is sample data, so that's okay. Uh, Charizard is number three, okay, all right. Uh, but yeah, this is a, a demo. This is probably not accurate, but <laughs> I'll, I'll, I will give GitHub Pilot a pass here. This is good, but um, remember, I did everything using GitHub Copilot. We use some migrations from Prisma, uh, but I can I can learn more how this uh, schema is looking. Here is my uh, diagram for this database. So let me center this, and I can zoom in if I want. I can look at the different relationships using the schema designer from the extension. So this is looking really good. Um, so something new we add is um, if you want to filter by table, for example, let's filter by trainers. You can enable here this option to show you the table relationship. So once again, let's recenter. And this is so good because I can identify the different relationship between tables just by using this option. I'm going to clear everything. And um, I guess, yeah, I want to see the relationships. All right, so as a final verification, because it never hurts, I can uh, simply connect to my database here and run a couple of queries, uh, just like manually doing this. Uh, something very, very uh, helpful here to notice is that my connection groups is has this like color light blue and my connection is identified by the same color here. You can uh, switch databases if you want. Um, in case you want to use S mode, we always like we, we support S mode for sure. Uh, so you can simply just do a double click here and um, start a session in S mode. You can also use the existing um, chat window and switch to ask mode and use the msql uh, chat participant to start interacting with your database in ask mode if you want this demo was designed to give you a practical developer first tour of the github pilot integration with the msql extension and show you ways how you can take the most of this integration to build real applications from the scratch and all of these using natural language instead of writing bullet plate SQL or set up scripts. As a summary, we went from a database creation to the database, to the schema modeling, to data seeding and querying. And we did all of this while staying inside VS Code and using GitHub Copilot in agent mode. If we want to learn more about the MSQL extension from VS Code, make sure to check out the links in the video description below. And for now, that's all. Thank you for watching and happy coding.